I'm sorry I have to do this. I'll try not to hurt you. Is that too tight? Can you still sleep? Like a baby. It's okay. Really. Zena's just being true to her way. But if she thinks I'm going anywhere now that I've found you and our path, she's crazy. Good night, Gabrielle. Jar is asleep. Good. Did you remember to tie her hands and feet? Gabrielle? Yes, I did. Good. That little smoke compact you made is pretty effective, huh? That seems to confuse them. Still, I don't like you being in the thick of things knowing you won't fight. Sina, that's the beauty of my new techniques. I can distract them without hurting anyone. Best of all, no killing. Hmm. Jocks are still pretty cut up about Crichton. Think you can talk to him? I don't know what to say. I keep remembering the first time that I killed. I know it's strange, but it still hurts. Stranger if it didn't. I'll try. Sina, you'll never guess who's been teaching Najara the path of nonviolence. Eli. It's amazing. He is living proof that peace really works. Are you asleep? You're awfully quiet, Zena. But then you never were one to waste words. Nothing's changed. Including me, is that it? You're wrong. New outfit, new religion, same old wacko underneath. <laughs> Yet you claim to have changed. Why can't I? After all, we both had the same inspiration. Gabrielle. But unlike you, I've changed my whole life for her. You've just changed sides. You hurt Gabrielle, and I will change you in ways that are anything but peaceful. You forget. Hurting Gabrielle is your job. Or have those visions gone away? You know, the visions of your death and hers. I want to share a life of peace with Gabrielle. You want to share a violent death. You tell me who's the villain here. Me or you. 